Hi, it's a very beautiful day in Ankara, Turkey now. Today we have a very special guest who is a pediatric endocrinologist and who has done all his residen her residencies in the United States of America. Uh, so, Dr. Pınar, can you tell about something about yourself? Who are you? What are you doing? It, it, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I'm very happy to talk about uh, today we are going to talk about hypothyroidism yeah. and it's, it's a great pleasure. Uh, I'm a pediatric endocrinologist. Mm -hmm. Pediatric endocrinologists, uh, what the, do they do? They uh, treat uh, kids with um, hormonal problems. That hormonal is, problems? Yes. Uh, hormones are not only uh, sex steroids, uh, sex mm -hmm. hormones, growth hormone, thyroid hormones, mm -hmm. and there are many other hormones in the body. So we are dealing with uh, problems with the hormones, hormones in children. In children. Uh, you have said that uh, you deal with hormones. Uh, mainly we will speak about uh, hypothyroids, especially in children yes. today. But you have said something strange, hormone. What's a hormone? A hormone is a substance uh, that the glands uh, produce uh, and the, the hormones bind to a special part of the body to mm -hmm. make the body do some functions. It's like the key and the lock. Are the they key, important functions? Very important functions. Mm -hmm. Depending on the type of hormones, um, many different uh, functions uh, are done. Uh, mm -hmm by the help of the hormones. hormones. It's kind of like the key and the lock. Yeah. The key is the hormone and mm -hmm. the lock is what we call receptors. receptors. So they bind to the, <coughs> those receptors. Mm -hmm. the, the key goes to the lock and opens the door yeah. to a function and that function uh -huh. uh, happens uh, uh, with the help of the hormones. So hormones. they are very important in mm -hmm. the body. Uh, you said something like growth hormone. Does it really grow the subject? Excuse me? Does it really grow the subject? You have said growth hormone. Uh, growth hormone is uh, what we have. Both kids and adults need growth hormone. Yeah. It's not only for growth. There are other functions in the body mm -hmm. besides uh, growth. But because I'm a pediatric endocrinologist, yeah. uh, it's very important for us uh, because kids grow. Yeah. They grow from... Uh, the time they're born until mm -hmm. uh, the growth plates, what we call, mm -hmm. are closed, which could be until the age of 15 to mm -hmm. until the age of, age of 18 and sometimes 22, depending yeah. on uh, the person. So growth hormone basically in uh, my area uh, is uh, important for growth. But growth. there are, of course, as you know, because you are an endocrinologist yeah, adult yourself, endocrinologist. adult endocrinologist, yeah. There are some other important functions in the body. Of course. Uh, and we are going to speak about thyroid hormones today. As far as I know, I cannot know as long as, as, far as, uh, as much as you because you are a pediatric endocrinologist. But as far as I know, thyroid hormones are more important than growth hormone in linear growth of the uh, patients. Yes. Uh, uh, yesterday, mine is yesterday's knowledge because I have read a long time ago. Uh, as far as I know, someone with growth hormone deficiency can reach up to 140 centimeters, but someone with thyroid hormone deficiency can reach up to 130. This was a figure. It may be wrong, but just to imply that thyroid hormone may be, may be more important than growth hormone in the linear For body. growth, that's, that's true. And even if somebody uh, is growth hormone deficient, let's see, and you provide that uh, mm -hmm. kid with growth hormone, you give a, a growth hormone treatment to that kid, to that child, if he or she is, growth, uh, is uh, hypothyroid, mm -hmm. uh, especially with, uh, if the thyroid gland is not working at all, mm -hmm. uh, the, the child cannot grow, even oh. if you give growth hormone. So it's, it's really important to have enough thyroid hormone to be able to grow. Mm. Then I understand two things from here. Both hormones are important, but there is also a relation between the hormones. Yes, that both that's must true. Be, uh, at the same time, at the same place. Yes. Okay. Uh, both hormones should be present mm -hmm. 
uh, for the child to grow properly. Otherwise, if one is absent, uh, the child mm -hmm. is not going to grow. Uh, just having uh, only hypo uh, the thyroid or the growth hormone alone. So sure. both hormone levels should be uh, good enough for the child to be able to grow. We both know that hormones are very, very important molecules that are secreted in very tiny, very small amounts indeed in the body and have very important functions. Today we're going to speak about thyroid hormones. Uh, when we say about thyroid hormones, we generally uh, imply a very different range of diseases. Uh, what kind of diseases most frequently seen in childhood period? Related to thyroid hormone, Related to thyroid hormone, the most common uh, problem we see is hypothyroidism, meaning underactive mm -hmm. uh, thyroid gland, meaning not enough thyroid hormone. Mm -hmm. So that's the most uh, common uh, problem we see in, in childhood uh, period uh, related to thyroid gland. What percentage of the child children do have th hypothyroidism, low functioning uh, thyroid gland? About in almost all <coughs> over the world, what we call congenital hypothyroidism, mm -hmm. meaning you are born with underactive thyroid, uh, is about three, one in three to four thousand mm -hmm. babies are born with it. Uh, so it's uh, fairly uh, common yeah. uh, to see, and it's almost uh, uh, the same frequency all over the world except for uh, areas like China or Africa, there is a little bit higher incidence of iodine deficiency. Mm -hmm. Iodine is very important for thyroid hormone production. Yes. Uh, so if you don't <coughs> have enough iodine, you can't have a normal thyroid. And if a pregnant woman is iodine deficient, mm -hmm. then the child, uh, the baby may be born with a condition called what we call cretinism Cretins. or iodine deficiency related hypothyroidism. Mm -hmm. So in those areas with high frequency of iodine deficiency, uh, hypothyroidism due to iodine deficiency is much more common. Mm -hmm. So the incidence might be higher than yeah. uh, one in 3,000 babies with hypothyroidism, but in general, all over the world, in Turkey, in the United States, it's about three to four thousand, one in three to four thousand babies are born with congenital hypothyroidism. Uh, you said iodine is very important uh, yes. for thyroid hormones. Uh, I think it's because it's in the uh, structure of the thyroid hormone. Iodine yes. takes a very important yes. part and also in the activation of yes. uh, thyroid hormones. Uh, then you said that there's iodine deficiency in several areas, particularly Africa uh, and also China. It was also a problem in Turkey too, yes. uh, but it, we are, I think, somewhat moderately deficient now, yes. not so really. Yes. In, in the past, it was about 30%, uh -huh. and now, according to the latest um, publications, mm -hmm. it's about 5%, five and five. it's not very severe. The mm -hmm. reason why we were uh, able to decrease the incidence of iodine deficiency is the government policy, mm -hmm. uh, addition of iodine into the salt, mm -hmm. to, into water and mm -hmm. bread uh, made the iodine deficiency almost go away. There are only few areas, especially the northern part of Turkey is mm -hmm. a little bit higher in iodine deficiency, but in general, uh, we almost um, never see cretinism, for example, mm -hmm. in uh, newborn babies anymore Excellent. in Turkey. Uh, but in China in, and in some ki uh, parts of Africa, I know that there are some areas with iodine deficiency. It's actually very easy to, really? uh, to, uh, to get over. Very easy and very cheap. Uh, very easy and very cheap. Uh, mm -hmm. Iodine uh, containing salt is the easiest way. Easiest you way. just cook with iodine containing salt, mm -hmm. uh, table salt, and um, it will decrease, uh, especially for pregnant women. It's very important uh, mm -hmm. because it causes permanent brain damage, especially in newborn, uh, even if they are uh, born and treated right away mm -hmm. uh, in newborn period, they're already brain damaged because uh, during intrauterine uh, p 
period you need iodine uh, and thyroid hormone for your for the baby's brain to uh, grow properly uh, compared to congenital hypothyroidism uh, where you can uh, treat a newborn and you get a perfectly normal child if you uh, treat uh, mm -hmm. properly iodine deficiency is different uh, they yes. might be born um, with uh, what we call neurogenic cretinism where the brain damage is irreversible unfortunately I see. okay then what must the pregnant women in Africa do to well, that's see a difficult whether they are iodine deficient whether do they need iodine that's a, actually that's a very difficult question because mm -hmm. I'm not 100% sure mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. Africa and how mm -hmm. how they uh, do medical care uh, but uh, to check iodine uh, is easy. You can check in mm -hmm. the urine, mm -hmm. and if there is deficiency, the pregnant woman can be supplemented with mm -hmm. iodine to prevent um, mm -hmm. problems with Problem. iodine Problem. deficiency. Mainly in the adults, uh, most of the p uh, patients, of course, pregnant women are adults, and uh, oh, they you have probably know yeah, more generally than generally a, a very prominent thyroid gland. Yes, goiter. Yep. Yeah. Uh, iodine deficient goiter is characterized by a very large gland that's easily seen on the neck. Uh, I have also some kind of goiter, but not so <laughs> easily seen, but bigger than my throat. Uh, you will see a mass over There's there. a lump, like yeah, a, a lump big like. Uh, lump in the uh, neck uh, area. Yeah. It may be irregular or regular, yes. uh, generally soft uh -huh. in uh, palpation. Uh, if you see this one, you may have iodine deficiency. Thus, please consult your obstetrician over there, mm -hmm. whether you are iodine deficient and you need iodine. Uh, it is very easy and very, very cheap. And to treat. Prevents, yep. prevents very, very important yep. problems mm -hmm. that may you, your child may have, if yes. not treated. Mm -hmm. well. uh, there is also uh, congenital hypothyroidism. Yes. You have to, spoken about and said that it is uh, easily recognized and he's easily treated but if not treated it's also very dangerous. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, congenital hypothyroidism is a little bit different um, uh, in in babies when they are born 95% uh, of babies mm -hmm. uh, with congenital hypothyroidism may not have any symptoms that's mm -hmm. the tricky part yeah. uh, they might be totally normal looking babies but they may still have an underactive thyroid gland uh, that's why a lot of countries are doing um, newborn screening, which means we get a mm -hmm. couple drop of blood from a heel stick mm -hmm. of the baby and check a few uh, conditions that we can treat easily and prevent mm -hmm. uh, major problems later on in life. Uh, congenital hypothyroidism is one of them. Uh, a lot of countries are now screening, uh, mm -hmm. looking at babies to see if they are uh, hypothyroid uh, in newborn period. Usually we do uh, take the blood uh, about uh, two to three days after birth, 48 to 72 hours after birth, mm -hmm. because if you check too early, you may miss uh, diagnose as... Why? Uh, because when the baby is born, uh, it's a very stressful condition for mm -hmm. the baby. Mm -hmm. All the hormones go up including yeah. thyroid hormone levels. But what we do to check um, hypothyroidism, underactive thyroid, is to check what we call TSH. Yeah. It's a hormone that's produced from the brain, from the pituitary mm -hmm. gland, which is a brain um, at the back of our mm -hmm. nose. It's a tiny, tiny gland, and it produces a lot of hormones mm -hmm. uh, that regulate our body function. And TSH is one of the hormones that pituitary gland produces. And if the thyroid gland is not working, TSH will go up. That's how we diagnose underactive thyroid, because in, it's in a balance. If the thyroid gland is not working, TSH will go up to push the thyroid gland to produce more growth hormone. I mean, uh, thyroid Thyroids hormone, I'm yeah. sorry. Um, so if the baby is in stress, the TSH will go up, not because mm -hmm. the thyroid gland is not working, it's just because mm -hmm. of the stress yeah. of uh, the birth. birth. And because of that, if you uh, mm -hmm. check 
thyroid hormones too early, then you might think the TSH is high. Oh, the baby has hypothyroidism. So we have to wait about uh, 48 to 72 hours to okay. check and see if the TSH is within the normal range. Uh, saying that uh, for newborns, uh, the, the normal levels of TSH is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Because of the stress, the TSH will go up Although the thyroid gland is working normally, mm -hmm. uh, TSH is a little bit <coughs> higher than normal adult level. Okay. So we have to um, consider that when uh, looking at the uh, results of a newborn baby as uh, far for as hypothyroidism. Know, after checking all infants for congenital hypothyroidism, yes. seeing the TSH levels, you recheck it. Again, a few days later yes. or, or a few weeks That's later. True. That's not true for every uh, uh -huh. country. Uh -huh. For example, in United States, uh, uh -huh. in where I was a doctor in United States and uh -huh. Michigan, uh -huh. uh, there's only one check. One check. In, in uh, Colorado, there mm -hmm. are two checks. They check mm -hmm. at um, two to three days of life and at 10 to 15 uh, days okay. of life. Okay. But in Michigan, we check once. We, we used to check. What do we do in Turkey? Uh, in Turkey, we check in uh, two to three days of life and then at fifth day of life. At fifth, not uh, one, uh, first or no, second week? No, five Just days. Just at the five days, then we, if we find congenital hypothyroidism, we begin to treat. Well, that depends, again. Oh. Uh, depends on the level. For example, if the level mm -hmm. is moderately high, it may still go down over time. So what we do, we usually recheck <coughs> in a week. <coughs> and if we see a drop from the first or second, then <coughs> we recheck. So we have about three to four weeks to decide <coughs> whether the baby is going to need treatment or not uh, without affecting the brain development. Because the thyroid yeah. uh, hormone is extremely important for the brain development <coughs> for the first two to three, two and a half to three years of life. Okay. So you have to, uh, if you start treatment, you have to continue uh, treating until two and a half to three years of age. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, unless there is special uh, occasions, we stop treatment at uh, age two and a half to three years mm -hmm. and do a trial of what we call, we, we take the uh, medicine uh, away, mm -hmm. wait for four weeks, and then recheck to see if the baby is still going to need the treatment for life long. Mm -hmm. Because studies show that in newborn babies, sometimes we have to treat. We can't mm -hmm. wait too long. Mm -hmm. It's, for example, three to four weeks, and it's still, yes. the TSH is still mm -hmm. high. Uh, we decided to treat. Uh, mm -hmm. And the TSH may not be too high. For example, just to give <coughs> you an uh, idea for uh, yeah. uh, for people uh, watching us, uh -huh. uh, TSH uh, could be, for example, uh, up to 10 might be normal uh, mm -hmm. for the first couple weeks. The baby might have a level of 12 or 13 yeah. at age 3 weeks. It's not totally normal. It's not uh, too abnormal. Uh -huh. Sometimes we wait, but if it continues to uh, be at that level, we just mm -hmm. uh, decide to treat, Teach, but yeah. we stop at two and a half to three years of life, uh, of age, and then see what happens. We usually wait for four weeks, uh, do another test, and see if it's going up or if it's mm -hmm. staying normal. And I usually test again in three uh, months and then in six months, depending on the levels. Mm -hmm. And then we say, if everything is normal, uh, that it was a transient uh, problem mm -hmm. and it went away. 50% okay. of uh, mild hypo congenital mm -hmm. hypothyroidism diagnosis uh, will be transient. So, Very good. Uh, but if the level is too high, like mm -hmm. if it's 100 or 1,000, mm -hmm. I had patients yeah. with uh, 1,500 oh. TSH. Uh, unless there's a special uh, reason, uh, this is not going to go away. Of course. Uh, and most of the time we have to increase the dose of the medicine mm -hmm. uh, during the first three years. And that also shows us that the, the, the baby is going to need it for lifelong. Mm -hmm. But say if you start the treatment 
for a t mildly elevated TSA. For example, 11. 11, 15. Yeah. And you never had to increase the dose. You started the same dose. You mm -hmm. went on uh, checking the levels, and it's always normal, 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 normal. normal. And at two and a half years of age, you stop the medicine and check again. Everything is fine, Very and we are fine. Very good. Okay. Uh, if everything's fine, we are all fine. But if the things are not fine, uh, you said TSH may be high and we may need treatment, sometimes continuously for lifelong. Mm -hmm. yes. But we all know that thyroid hormone is a very tiny, very cheap, very easily accessible and very ing ingestible medicine. Yes. Very, very, and it's not a, sh it's not a shot. For yeah. example, some yeah. of the hormones you can't yeah. take by uh -huh. mouth. Yeah. You have to give a shot, like yeah. insulin is yeah. a hormone. Growth yeah. hormone is a shot. Mm -hmm. This is very easy. Very easy. Uh, and I, cheap. I say, this is very easy. Sometimes in our adult patients, when they see that it's a very small, very cheap, very easy to ingest, they say that mm, this is something very easy. It's worthless. Sometimes, it's like a vitamin, right? Yeah, they think yeah, it's a vitamin. We may not this is need not to important. take that. Is thyroid hormone really important? It is. What happens if you do not treat a child with congenital hypothyroids? A lot of things happen. Uh, compared to adults, the difference is uh, a child is a growing person. Mm -hmm. uh, not only linear growth, meaning mm -hmm. height growth, okay. uh, brain development is extremely important. Especially for the first three years of life, it's extremely important to uh, have normal thyroid functions, to have neurodevelopmentally mm -hmm. uh, normal, uh, developmentally to be normal. It's very important. Linear growth is mm -hmm. the second one. Mm -hmm. A lot of body functions depend on thyroid gland. You mean that it will be growth retarded and mentally retarded? Mentally retarded. retarded. The uh, child this is may, very, very important. The, the child cannot uh, talk, cannot mm -hmm. walk. Mm -hmm. uh, could uh, just lay uh, on bed and then do nothing. Cannot follow you, cannot smile, maybe it may smile, but it could cause severe mental retardation. Uh, but it's so easy to treat, as you said, it's yeah. easy to diagnose, easy to treat. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's, it's very sad when we see uh, babies who are not diagnosed or treated mm -hmm. and beca become uh, dependent uh, to their parents and mm -hmm. cannot walk or talk just because of a very uh, easy uh, medication, easy treatment. We will give a short commercial break. Welcome back to our program. Did you see congenital hypothyroid patients who are not treated, for example, at age of one or two or three? Well, I was, I was lucky not yeah. to see in any of them. Uh, nope, not in, even not in Turkey. Because really? well, I, I have been in, I was in the United States for a long time. Mm -hmm. So I was, by the time I came back, five years ago, mm -hmm. and even before I went, uh, congenital hypothyroidism was screened in Turkey. Yeah. I still, haven't seen any. Still screened. Uh, this means screening is very, very important for us. If uh, our audience, maybe some countries, do not have screening options, mm -hmm. uh, what must a mother or father look after at her child. Yes, there are a few symptoms of yes. uh, hypothyroidism. Well, as I said, by the time the symptoms appear, unfortunately, mm -hmm. the brain development might already be affected. Mm -hmm. The only way to avoid uh, mental retardation due to hypothyroidism mm -hmm. is unfortunately to do a test in the newborn period. At, the, uh, at most the first month. Uh, the fir the yeah. first month, yes. Oh. But if, if you don't treat, what we, mm -hmm. uh, what we see is basically the baby will not be smiling, mm -hmm. uh, may not follow uh, light or your mm -hmm. face, mm -hmm. uh, cannot uh, hold uh, his or her neck, mm -hmm. uh, so will be very floppy, mm -hmm. uh, will have a hoarse cry, usually the, mm -hmm. the, uh, the voice will be 
uh, like a yeah, yes a horse like mm -hmm. you have a common cold and yeah. you have a sore throat and your voice changes it's mm -hmm. kind of like that uh, the baby might have a very dry skin might mm -hmm. be cold might have constipation uh, may sleep a lot mm -hmm. and maybe chubby has slowed down. yes uh -huh. And one of the other things that you may see in newborn period that might be a warning sign mm -hmm. might be a prolonged jaundice. Ah. Uh, that might be a warning sign, especially uh, the first two weeks mm -hmm. or three weeks, if you still see a baby quite jaundice, at least get a TSH mm -hmm. at that point. Mm -hmm. uh, so those are the main, uh, the, the skin will be dry and peeling, mm -hmm. the, uh, the umbilical, uh, umbilicals will be uh, prolapsed. Mm -hmm. uh, and constipation and constipation. you know they sleep all the time they, they, they are not the like crying mm -hmm. vigorous babies they are like mm -hmm. sleeping very um, quiet if uh, the baby is not active not active has yeah. jaundice or, or constipation mm -hmm. or a, a tongue that's outside of the mouth yes big tongue again these are uh, this mm. this is going to take a while there yeah. are only yeah. few yeah percentage of uh -huh. babies that are born uh -huh. yeah. with these symptoms. Most of, of the time the babies are born mm -hmm. totally fine. And as time goes by, as mm -hmm. hypothyroidism settles, mm -hmm. by the age of three months, we see yeah. all these symptoms. Yeah. But at that point, the brain might the be damaged. So uh, I would say, um, you know, if the baby is uh, mm -hmm. sleeping a lot, mm -hmm. uh, not waking up to be fed, mm -hmm. And if there is jaundice that's uh, not going away, those might mm -hmm. be the two early warning signs Very rather than process. waiting for the other symptoms to yeah. settle. Can we easily recommend every parent to uh, have a blood sample from their children and make a TSH measurement? That's thyroid stimulating hormone. Yes, I, I think would, it will be available almost everywhere. And it it's very so easy. It's cheap, to, actually, yeah. not a very uh, yeah. difficult test yeah. to do if. Uh, are uh, you know if somebody requests that mm -hmm. from uh, mm -hmm. their uh, doctor, mm -hmm. they should be able to do it. And I would recommend to do it a little bit later, not the first two three days, days. maybe five days. Yeah. If uh, yeah. Yeah. the reason why we do the first two three days of life is before they are discharged from yeah. the hospital, yeah. so that they are not lost to follow up. Uh, as we have the baby in our hands, mm -hmm. we just do it and left uh, and uh, let them go. But otherwise, I think the best time to do the test is uh, the first week will be more reliable because there are a lot of false mm -hmm. positive results the first mm -hmm. three days of life, especially um, if the baby is stressed. So we end up doing uh, retesting a lot of babies because it's done a little bit earlier. But if there's a C-section, mm -hmm. like a surgery yeah. uh, to take the baby out, uh -huh. most of the time the uh, parents uh, stay in the hospital a little, uh, little bit longer. Oh. I would do it a little bit later so that we have a mm -hmm. good uh, sample mm -hmm. uh, as far as the time goes. Very good. Uh, we have seen a patient which has uh, high levels of TSH, for example, at the first week of his or her life. Mm -hmm. Then checked again within three or four weeks. And no, we check every week. Okay, we have checked every yeah. week. And Unless we, it's 500 or 1,000, uh, then course, we treat. Okay. Of course. Uh, if it's, uh, let's think the worst thing. Let's say the TSH level is 500. This okay. is a very, very uh, high number. In adults, the, the uppermost level I have seen was 107. This means 500 is extremely high for us. I have uh, seen a lot. Yeah, 500 is very, very high. High, a very, very high level, and this means that most probably this will child lifelong treatment with levothyroxine. Mm -hmm. is, uh, we said that levothyroxine is very easy to get, very cheap to get, and very, very effective. It prevents mental retardation, growth retardation, and these two are very, very important things. Yes. Uh, does it really prevent these retardations in every patient? Um, almost, I would say 100%, close to 100%. Yes. Uh, there are very uh, rare occasions that we mm -hmm. might see. It could be part of a syndrome, for example. Syndrome mm -hmm. meaning 
the baby might have other uh, health issues, then yeah. sometimes we don't. But I would say 100% with yes. good treatment, we can prevent mm -hmm. um, even with the worst TSH. Uh, yes. There are some reports that with high, very high TSH, mm -hmm. uh, there might be some learning issues in mm -hmm. the future. Uh, or there are some reports saying that the hearing might be affected, mm -hmm. uh, but they are like not a, a lot. And um, one thing I want to stress the importance is um, thyroid hormone is very cheap, easy mm -hmm. to treat, but sometimes mm -hmm. the medicine itself is not uh, a good brand or it's a generic huh. that doesn't work well. I it see. happened in United States, even oh. in United States. There was, when I was a doctor in the United States in 19, I mean 2002, I think, there was one uh, brand uh -huh. name of thyroid medicine that was taken uh, oh. out of market mm. because it was shown that uh, the pills does not have active thyroid hormone really? as, as good as it, sh <coughs> it should. Oh. Uh, so it was out of market for a while. They retested and mm -hmm. did uh, all kinds of things, and it uh, came back to the market. So what I have seen, and I want to uh, warn the audiences, that um, some of the thyroid medications that are in the market in mm -hmm. some countries are not effective. Oh, I, see. I don't know why, uh, uh -huh. but uh, I would uh, stress the importance of the medicine being a good brand name or um, a medicine that's proven to be effective because I had several, not from Africa, but from other countries mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, came to see me in Turkey and they are using the medicine. They're not missing any and uh, mm -hmm. the dose is quite high and it's not working. And, mm -hmm. uh, and I changed the medicine. I don't mean every medicine should go from Turkey to other countries, but, you know, I, I don't know. Some uh, medicines in other countries may not be as effective. Mm. Uh, so I think we cannot predict that. How do we see that it's effective or not effective? Well, if, we, if your child is taking it and it seems like uh, the levels don't change, mm -hmm. you have to question if the medicine mm -hmm. is, is, is working or not, if it's mm -hmm. a good medicine, because there yeah. are different uh, pharmaceutical mm -hmm. companies in different parts of the of world uh, producing this medicine, mm -hmm. and uh, it's one of the medications that they may not make it quite right, quite right. although it, it's very cheap. Okay. Sometimes we oh. see that. That's my own experience, mm -hmm. even in the United States that happened. This is a very important information in that if uh, uh, rules are very strict in the United States and regulations are very strict, even in that country, if you have seen something like that, we may see it everywhere. In some of the pa uh, adult patients, we also see sometimes uh, problems like that. Uh, I don't want to accuse a specific company for it, but uh, we have seen it both uh, ways. Uh, and this is my uh, experience. Uh, I have seen that the drug is not uh, very easily handled. There are some minor rules in mm -hmm. uh, keeping the medicine. Uh, in, uh, there are basically two brands in Turkey and uh, all contains 50 pills mm -hmm. in the boxes. This means if you use one pill per day, it will last for 50 days. Yes, two and months, almost yeah, two you months. Take it out, take it, take, put it in, take it out, put it in, take it. And this is a medicine, preferably, must not uh, be exposed to lights. Mm -hmm. It destroys effic yes. effic efficiency. It must be keep, kept in room temperature, mm -hmm. not in the freezers mm -hmm. or refriger refrigerators. Uh, and it must be taken. Uh, on, on an fasting. empty stomach. On an uh, empty stomach. Yes, in children too. Mm -hmm. We always stress uh, mm -hmm. babies, for example. They they have they they are, uh, they, they take a formula or breastfeeding, mm -hmm. uh, and their stomach is small and it just yeah. empties fast. fast. So you don't have to be uh, fasting for an hour, but I I usually say uh, 15, 20 minutes before feeding or mm -hmm. an hour after feeding. Very good. Uh, if you 
if you give the medicine with the formula or with feeding, there are two mm -hmm. uh, problems. First, absorption is not good. Yeah. Second, uh, the baby may throw uh, up the formula mm -hmm. or the breast milk, breast milk. and the goes medicine the medicine. <laughs> so uh, you may lose some of the medicine and you don't know how much you lost. Yes. So uh, empty stomach is important. Uh, I don't know if uh, Africa has soy formula. It's a special type of formula that's made from soy. Mm -hmm. If you are feeding the baby with soy, mm -hmm. it decreases absorption tremendously, even uh, if you give it by uh, an empty right. stomach. So it's really important to adjust the medicine if the baby is fed by soy formula. I don't know if Africa has that, but uh, it's not know. very widely used in Turkey. Mm -hmm. It's very widely used in the United States, mm -hmm. so that's something that's important. And one other thing uh, to, uh, to warn is um, mm -hmm. it's a pill. Yeah. And we are giving this pill to a newborn. How are we going <laughs> to do that? <laughs> yes, how are we going to do that? <laughs> You are not. You cannot. Uh, uh, you cannot um, uh, prepare a solution. Mm -hmm. Meaning, some of the pharmacists are very kind and uh -huh. try to be helpful, and they say, "Oh, I'll prepare you a solution, mm -hmm. a, a thyroid solution." That's mm -hmm. not good because it's mm -hmm. not stable yeah. in water for a long time. Mm -hmm. So you have to prepare it fresh. So what I recommend to uh, the mothers or parents uh, mm -hmm. for newborn babies is use a small amount of um, water um, and just put the med put the pill uh, it dissolves you mm -hmm. can um, you can give uh, this medicine uh, with a spoon mm -hmm. which might be a little difficult in newborns yeah. uh, there are some little um, medicine bottles mm -hmm. uh, you can mm -hmm. like a normal bottle but mm -hmm. it's only s very small mm -hmm. the baby sucks the, s the liquid Liquids. with the medicine or you can uh, use an injection injector mm -hmm. uh, a mm -hmm. syringe yeah. so you um, you take the medicine uh, with the water mm -hmm. so it becomes a solution but you have to prepare it fresh uh, mm -hmm. You take it with a syringe and then give the baby uh, the medicine with a syringe, drop by drop. By taking out the needle? Of course, needle. take out the needle. Okay. Even uh -huh. uh, drawing the solution, you don't need a needle. You can uh, just draw it without a needle. Oh, gosh. Don't use the needle. Oh, very good. Uh, this was a very important part uh, indeed because what we gain will be extremely yes. important, extremely yes. well. When you consider the price, yes, it and it's gives irreversible. You, lots of it, you can't <coughs> fix it mm -hmm. once you have a brain damage. Unfortunately, you can't fix it, and it's so easy to treat. So it's really important for uh, the newborns to be tested for congenital hypothyroidism before it's too late, before all the symptoms settle, uh, and the baby become mentally retarded, mm -hmm. uh, irreversibly. Irreversible, very important, I think. This treatment is the most cost-effective treatment yes. in all over the world, in all of the, between yes. all the diseases. Exactly. There is nothing like this. Nothing it like has, congenital hypothyroidism yeah. that's so easy to diagnose, so easy to treat, and so awful if you don't yeah. treat. The medicine has almost no side effects. No side effects, yeah. that's true. But Even if you give too much, yeah. interestingly, like uh, overactive thyroid, mm -hmm. the opposite part of uh, mm -hmm. spectrum, uh, of the condition, overactive thyroid or hyperthyroidism may cause a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. But if you give the medicine a little bit too much, even mm -hmm. for a couple months, nothing happens. Okay. It's interesting. Very good. Uh, then uh, I see that uh, these patients must all be in regular follow-ups. Yes. This is also very important. Yes, exactly. Because the dose adjustments may be necessary, sometimes frequently, sometimes we do not need it at all. But yeah, I have pa babies, I start a medicine, uh, a dose mm -hmm. uh, of the thyroid medicine, and it's the same until they're 18, and the parents are like, you didn't do anything, yeah. you started the medicine <laughs> at a a age one week, and we are taking the same uh, medicine, you didn't do anything, we got yeah. all these blood <laughs> tests, and it's still the same. Uh, and sometimes we have to increase. It's so uh, uh, 
child dependent. Child. This is one of the uh, medications that, you know, there are some guidelines how we start mm -hmm. the medicine, but how much dose we are going to go as time goes mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. may change from one person or one child to the other. It's very uh, person or child dependent. dependent but there are some guidelines especially for newborns mm -hmm. uh, when they're born we have uh, a dose that we start with mm -hmm. and um, then we recheck and then make the adjustments the thyroid medicine has a long half life meaning yeah. it takes a while to build up in mm -hmm. the body mm -hmm. it takes mm -hmm. a while to mm -hmm. go away from the body so we usually wait a few weeks for newborns when when we first start we just recheck in two weeks and then mm -hmm. every four to six <coughs> weeks and then we extend the period right. but in general you have to wait at least four weeks as yeah. you know uh, four to eight weeks to see mm -hmm. the result of the change in the dose that you are making you have uh, cleared out lots of very important things over here. In adults, we also see lots of problems with thyroid hormone deficiencies. Even if, if in TSH levels like 6 or 7, uh, we may have fertility issues. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, I've seen lots of patients like this. You give some levothyroxine to patients and the patient gets pregnant. Mm -hmm. This is excellent. Nothing like, there is nothing like this. Nothing so cheap, nothing so easy. Uh, again, you have mentioned constipation. We mm -hmm. see lots of patients with constipation and that leads with levothyroxine treatment. Also focusing problems, problems with the school, problems with the work. They also get easily resolved with levothyroxine treatment. Yes, we have to follow up patients. And patients sometimes also say, us, what, have, what are you doing? We are giving the same medicine always and at the same dose. But this is very important. It is very important to have no complaints, no problems. This is very good. <laughs> if you have problems, me, we may have missed something or you have may missed your medicines. Uh, there may be the bigger, higher, uh, very important problems. And uh, growth retardation and mental retardation are extremely important and sometimes not uh, resolvable problems. Because of this, uh, recognizing an uh, infant early it's very it important. It's very important to begin the treatment and have very efficient results. Dr. Pranath, thank you very much for today. It was today. my pleasure. It was great to talk to you and thank you. to help the audience. Thank you. I think uh, you have been very helpful to our audience over here. Do you have anything to add? Uh, your last words, what oh, can you I say? Oh, I talked a lot. I, I, I don't know if I have my... I might have missed uh, some some points but those are the main things I want mm -hmm. to I wanted to stress mm -hmm. that early diagnosis and treatment and the right uh, medicine right dose and follow-up they are mm -hmm. all important as take-home messages we must say please get your infant measured for the TSH level in the first month of her his yes. or her life if possible that's really yeah. important, important. Uh, 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 instead of waiting mm -hmm. for uh, the symptoms to appear mm -hmm. because it might be too late for mm -hmm. the brain development. Uh, so yeah. early recognition, early treatment, and proper follow-up. Proper follow-up. Yeah, uh, is very important Measure, for children. Measure, treat, follow-up. Yes, these are very, very essential. Exactly. Okay. Thank you very much. It was great to talk. It was great to talk to you too. Have a nice day.